Hello everyone, or as we always say in these videos, howdy partner, because today we're returning once again to the Wild West Cowboy Town. If you want to check out how I put this town together, I'll put a link in the description for that video, but today we're going to be doing another block by block tutorial, but this time on our Wild West Jailhouse. That's right, we're going to build the all important Sheriff's Jailhouse, so we have somewhere to keep our bandits and bank robbers. I'll quickly once again say thank you for all your support and keep it coming, as there's lots more content coming our way. So, without further ado, let's build our Wild West Jailhouse. So, what are we going to need for this build? Well, we're going to need some stripped dark oak logs, some dark oak fences and doors, some spruce planks, stairs and slabs, some oak planks and some oak signs, some grey glass, glass panes and some brown banners and some cobblestone. Not a lot really, pretty doable in a survival world. To make this build you're going to need a 10 by 12 block area to clear out plenty of space. First we're going to fill out our wooden base with some of our spruce planks to form that all important feature that we find in most Wild West buildings. Next, we're just going to remove a few blocks, two blocks away from the front, and then we'll remove four blocks from the back of the base like so. Then, in the front two gaps, we're going to build up an eight block column of our stripped dark oak, and on both sides, and then we're going to place a six block high column in each of the back four gaps to form the main supports of the walls. <laughs> Next, we're just going to fill in the back wall with some cobblestone. This is to make it strong and so that our bandits and robbers can't break the way out of their cell through a flimsy wooden wall. Then, using our oak planks, we're just going to build up the two side walls up to the same height as the back wall. I'm going to show you how we can texture these plain boring walls shortly. Now, we're just going to do the same on the front wall, but this time we're going to build it up to the same height as the front two columns, like so. Now, we're just going to take the rest of our oak planks and we're going to fill in the roof of our jailhouse, making sure there's no holes for our troublesome criminals to escape through. Then we're going to grab some of our spruce slabs and just create a border around the edge of the roof and then pop an extra one on the each of the back two corners for a little decoration, like so. Beautiful. On the front wall we're going to add four oak planks to the centre and then another two on the top of that. Then add our spruce slab trim over the top and then we have ourselves a lovely area to put our jail sign on later on. Using some spruce planks we're going to create an awning by adding a row across the front of the building followed by some stairs on the front and then some slabs on the top to form a nice slope. Then we're going to form some steps with four spruce stairs in the centre and then add some dark oak fences on the sides of our porch and then connect it to the awning above it. Add a couple more fence supports closer to the middle and then I've added a row of fences across the top for decoration too. Then we can add our double door in the centre at the front wall and then add a couple of small windows either side as well as our grey panes added into them. Then we'll add a couple of hitching posts out front too for our horses. Beautiful. Then we're going to add our jail sign using brown banners and white dye. If you want to see how to make these letters, I'll put a helpful video in the description for that. Now this is optional but using some stripped oak logs, I'm just going to randomly scatter these around the walls to form some texture and make the building look a bit more weathered and aged. This helps to add story and history to the building too. If you wanted to add even more texture, you can add some oak signs to the walls too to make it look like people have been repairing this building by adding planks to it for years. We're now going to add some little details out front, like a little table, a chest, and then we're just going to texture up the ground a bit by adding some random blocks of granite and coarse dirt to make it look a bit more worn and trodden on. Finally, for the interior, 
we're going to texture the back wall with some stone and then create that all important jail cell using some more cobblestone and iron bars. I've added a couple of beds and a toilet in there as well and we can add some more important features like a sheriff desk, some storage cupboards and even some wanted posters on the wall. I'm sure there's lots more we could put inside here so if you have any more additions when you build yours why don't you send me your screenshots over on Twitter I'd love to see your versions. My, uh, my Twitter link's in the description so get them sent to me I'd love to see them. So there we have it guys, our Wild West drill house is complete. If you enjoyed that video then don't forget to give it a thumbs up, it really helps me and the video out and if you want to see more like this then press that subscribe button too. Your support is amazing and I appreciate every single one of you guys. So until next time folks, bye for now.